And the first thing we're going to talk about today, since it is indeed Wednesday, it is time for Rewind, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theatres. Rewind is what uh, we affectionately refer to as the feeling old segment because we celebrate those movies turning 10 years old and turning 20 years old. Turning 10 years old this week are Cheaper by the Dozen 2, <laughs> not the original, Fun with Dick and Jane, <laughs> The Ringer, Rumor Has It, and Wolf Creek. Celebrating their 20th anniversaries this week are the famous animated classic Balto. No, I've never heard of it. <laughs> um, you never heard of Balto? Cutthroat no. Island. Ooh. Uh, Dracula Dead and Loving It Part 2. Grumpier Old Men. Sudden Death. And Waiting to Exhale. So these are the films celebrating their anniversaries this week. Christian, which wow. of these films kind of stand out to you? Do I have to say one of them? <laughs> My God, what a bunch of bombs. Um, this all came out in December, all these movies? Yeah. Uh, wow, this was a different time. I, I actually do remember Balto. and Oh, Grumpy Old Men. Grumpy Old Men for yep. sure. Uh, Sudden Death is a guilty movie pleasure for sure, but Dracula Dead and Loving It. I remember because th I'm such a I was such a Leslie Nielsen fan that to see that movie. What a, an embarrassment of a movie that was. Um, and then the <laughs> other one that you, that I remember when what's the Jim Carrey one? The Fun with Tom. Uh, fun with Dick and Jane. Oh my God! I mean th that was. This is tough. This yeah. is this is like, this <laughs> it's is like a it's a rough almost, rough release. It's date. like they or they wanted to send everything from Cheaper January. Cheaper by the Dozen Two wasn't all that bad. All right. It wasn't all that bad. I guess Christmas was the dumping ground 20 years ago, I see, right? Sure, it's like, like that. that. Everything, even 10 years ago, because yeah. all the stuff in 10 years was horrible, too. I'm looking, okay, where's the one gem? No. And then there's nothing. I mean, that that's that's Well, Cutthroat Island is the... No, that's not the wrong that's, gem. That's yeah. the one that destroyed a lot of careers. Well, Randy that Harlan's was, you know, career. Yeah, I got so run. excited when I saw Cutthroat Island because I got it confused with The Long Kiss Goodnight. Which is the other Gina Davis movie, which right. is actually pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, it's, it's got her, Samuel L. Jackson, before anybody knew who Samuel Jackson yeah. really was. Shane Black wrote it. Yeah, if you haven't seen Long Kiss Goodnight, check that out. But yeah. this is Don't not check Long Kiss out. Goodnight. This is the Matthew Modine, Gina Davis, directed Oof. by Rennie Harlan, nightmare, freak out, pirate movie that you don't want to see. This and is if, the, the non-pirate. It was originally you, called Goppage. <laughs> if you don't know the name Matthew Modine, it's because of this movie. Yeah, this movie helped. Because you would have known the name Matthew. Actually, yeah. Matthew Modine was in Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Right, right. Um, so some people might remember him from that. But yeah. he was kind of poised at that time to be a the next big A-list right. guy. Before that movie, he was in Full Metal Jacket. Vision yeah. Quest, man. And Vision Quest is what Love put him on the map. Quest, yeah. And then this was supposed to be like one of his big blockbusters. Yeah. And it uh, didn't quite go. I'm with you, though. Sudden death to me. Yeah. Die Hard in a Hockey Arena. Right. Jean-Claude Van Damme. And what was the, the what's, day. what's the one on the first list? The ten years old? This is uh, cheaper old. by the dozen two. Fun with Dick and Jane. The, <sighs> that's the Jim Carrey one. The uh, Ringer. The Ringer. That's uh, the first movie I ever walked out of. Yeah. Yep. That was uh, a pal of mine. Actually played one of the uh, one of the. Um, Special Olympians. Special Olympians. Uh, but he wasn't. Uh, you know, he's an actor. But they. You know, they mix and matched uh, everybody. Yeah. So. Uh, shout out to my friend Bill Cott for being in the ringer. Yeah, um, first movie I ever walked out of. And Wolf Creek I found really disturbing. That was like one of those horror movies where you're like, oh, this is really yeah. grisly, you know? It was really <laughs> like, just like this old man in Australia is just torturing these people. Is that is that what this movie is? And that's what that movie is, really. So yeah, there's a Wolf Creek, too, if you like that kind of stuff, you know? That's about it. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.